The following program has been generously funded by the Patterson Foundation. This book is cool. And welcome to This Book is Cool. My name is Beth Duda and I'm the director of the Suncoast Campaign for Grade Level Reading. We have a beautiful book to share with you today. The book's title is Sky Tree and it was written by Thomas Locker along with Candace Christensen. And you'll see at the top here it says Seeing Science Through Art. That's an intriguing idea, seeing science through art. We have a friend here today who's going to help us find out why this book is cool. Today, we have Derek Randall with us. Hi, Derek, how are you? Hi, Bob, how are you? Great, I cannot complain. I cannot complain either, and I'm so happy to have you here to talk about this beautiful book, Sky Tree. Can you share with me one of the reasons why you think this book is cool? In the beginning, I noticed that the, uh, the tree was full of leaves uh, in the summertime on a bright summer day. Uh, I love summertime. Summer reminds me of my childhood growing up and having a lot of fun. Is that something that you remember as well in the summer? Or do you have any memories? Great. I love summer and I love the way that the trees look in summer. And I grew up in New York State, in oh. central New York. And during the months of July and August, everything is such a vibrant shade of green. I remember that uh, very fondly. I do want to show our audience a picture of the tree in summer because the artwork in the book is so beautiful. I think it's fascinating the way this illustrator who loved to paint trees, their, his work got richer and deeper as he understood the science that was happening with the trees. So this book is full of pictures, paintings of the very same tree in, in different seasons. Was there a season in the book that you really enjoyed other than summer? Yeah, I enjoy it when the tree prepares for winter, uh, the changing of the colors, uh, the gold, the deep brown, the beautifulness of a, just the changing of the seasons. You know, it's just a beautiful transition. And you can see it in the book through the tree. Look at those colors. It's just beautiful. And I think it's such an intriguing idea to paint the same tree at different times, not only different times of the year, but different times of the day. And each season seems to have its own beauty. Mm -hmm. Even when the, the leaves fall off the tree, how did it make you feel when you saw the, the tree without any leaves? <laughs> At, at the vulnerableness of the winter, uh, the time for the tree, showed like a sadness or a loneliness, but it also showed us a stability to still stand and be there in that time. So yeah, absolutely, it was great. It really is fascinating. Now, the book's title is Sky Tree. Mm -hmm. I believe because the artist uses not only the tree, but he uses the sky to evoke different feelings in, in the book. So there's this relationship between the sky and the tree on every page. Are there locations that, that you have visited that are, are special to you where nature all works together to to create a, a space that's extra special for you? I can remember being a young boy and going to visit uh, my aunt up north in Chicago. 
the atmosphere is totally different in Florida, of course. You got the wind, you got the different changing of the color of the, of the seasons. You actually have four seasons, I should say, <laughs> considering Florida. I'm not complaining, but I'm just pointing it out. But honestly, the, the artist does an excellent job of using color to make the sky and the tree kind of blend into one. So it's a great relationship that we see, absolutely. And I think through the art and through explaining the, the science of the cycle that the, the tree goes through, the, the combination of the science and the art brings a depth to the book that makes it one of my favorites. It's. Um, a, I think reading this book, I've learned things, definitely, but I think even more importantly, I've felt very deep feelings by experiencing the art and the science working hand in hand. Can you share with us why reading has been so important in your life? Yes, absolutely. Uh, my mom thought, started me to read at a young age, um, which was great. I found myself being lost in books. and. I'll be honest with you, it's one of the places I don't mind being lost at. Um, my imagination is able to expand. I'm able to, you know, just conjure up things in my mind and put things together and start to formulate things. And I think as well for, for young children, it's good to start the imagination, start to build in the development stage of them to be able to, to progress and to be the adults that they need to be at one day. But reading is good for all ages, not just young, but it's good to start young, as my mom started me, so which I appreciate so much. But it, it, it allowed my imagination to grow. I love that notion of um, being lost in a book. I, I share that with you. In this book, Sky Tree, I, I have to say that I've grown very fond of this tree. And yeah, yeah. it feels like a, a special place. And I think that's the magic that, that books can bring to us. I totally agree, Beth. I really, really enjoyed the book. Um, I think, as, as you pointed out in the stages, you see the tree grow and you see the development. And you also see the relationship with the tree as well as with the sky and how they depended upon each other and it works together. Ideally, like uh, ourselves as individuals, we all have to work together to get the, the, the job accomplished. Thank you for spending time with us today. Thank you for advocating for children and for for advocating for them to read throughout the summer. I think uh, together we can all accomplish great things. Absolutely. Thank you for the opportunity and the pleasure to sit here and to talk with you. It was my pleasure. Um, we look forward to doing great things this summer and continue to look forward to working with Patterson and everything you guys are doing great for our kids and the community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye now. Bye-bye. I enjoyed talking to Derek Randall about the book Sky Tree. The illustrations in this book are magical. Look at this one at sunset. I think this book is evocative. Isn't that a great word? And there is a glossary at the end of the book that shows every picture and it describes how the painting of the tree was put together. So it's really a great combination of art and science. Our author has also given us some great words for our word bank. The first word is the word squabbled. Squabbled. It means to quarrel or to fight noisily. Our next word is the word fluttered fluttered, to fly unsteadily or, or to hover, flapping your wings quickly and lightly. We're going to add the word glistened to our word bank. Glistened. Glistened means to shine or to glitter. The word frost we're adding to our word bank. Frost. Frost means to cover with small ice crystals, kind of to freeze. And we're going to add the word huddled to our word bank. Huddled. It means crowded together. For an activity, we're going to encourage you to make a tree of your very own. You can select the season or the time of day that you would like to portray with your tree. I have one here that was created by a friend 
who really likes autumn. So they've used a paper towel roll to be the tree trunk. And I love that they put a little knot hole in it. And then out of tissue paper, they cut brightly colored leaves and they've glued that all together. You can create your tree any way you like. You could make a three-dimensional tree like this one, or you could draw a tree or paint a tree. If you do, we'd like you to take a photograph of it and send it to us at connect at gradelevelreadingsuncoast.net. We're also interested in getting your episode of This Book is Cool. Pick out a book you really like and select four or five reasons why you think that book is cool. Look in the book and select some words that would be great additions to our word bank and come up with an activity that goes along with the book. Send your episode to connect at gradelevelreadingsuncoast.net. This book has a picture of this tree at all different seasons. Look at this one, surrounded by starlight. These paintings can give us different feelings. I hope that you're experiencing a lot of feelings this summer. Terrific feelings, feelings of excitement, feelings of getting lost inside a book, I think that's a great idea, and I love that Derek Randall shared that thought with us. We can all be lost inside a book and travel to someplace we've never gone before just by experiencing a wonderful story. I wish you fantastic journeys inside your books this summer. Remember, reading is the key to succeeding. Thank you for being with us today. We'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.